Hey guys. Um, so we did the layouts on this page here, um, and now I'm going to go into my pencils. Um, one of the first things I'm going to do here. Remember, I talked about the opacity of this layer. Um, this is what I usually do. So. I'll use it now to get my panels laid out here. Um, I'm not going to ink this page traditionally. Um, I'm going to ink this, I mean, I'm not going to ink it digitally, I'm going to ink it traditionally. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about some of the the other uh, ways I go about preparing a page. Like usually I keep the panels here that I just uh, drew. I usually keep them on a whole other layer. Um, that way I can draw over the lines and it's easier to erase and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll still do that here, but it's not for for those reasons. It's just uh, it's just to do it. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'm going to end up inking this page uh, traditionally. Just because uh, um, I, I find that there is a difference between working digitally and analog. And um, sometimes I'm missing out on a certain texture, there's a certain vibe, there's a certain tactile thing that I can't really even explain. Um, it's, it's just the way my mind works. Uh, some people, they can draw digitally exactly to look like their pages. Um, sometimes mine do, sometimes they don't, but mentally, I think whatever stress levels I'm going through and some other issues in my life, it's making digital not be as satisfying as it was for, for a while. So um, at least for a short time, I'm going to switch back and forth, which I like to do anyway. It keeps my mind fresh. And if you've been listening to these, you know my mind is needs a lot of freshness. Um, <laughs> one of the fun things I love about Clip Studio is that I can create perspective points my penciling here. Um, and I might fuck this up because it's been a little while since I've... Oh, here we go. Since I've done this. So this, is, this represents my horizon line. My horizon line is way down low here. Um, pretty much on top of this other panel. Probably shouldn't do that because it kind of creates this invisible... Uh, Tangent. And I'm trying to line this up as close to my pencils. Boy, that's really off. It was just a quick thing. And maybe I have to lower this. There we go. Yeah, the eye line really should be lower here, which means I'm going to really cheat these guys because there's no way they'd be that high up um, in the room. Anyway, that's the first point perspective. There's the fucking second one. I think this is the second one. Let's try and get these to line up as much as possible. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now what's fun is up here on my pencil line, um, I can see it. So, so now this is only going to let my pen draw in one of a few directions. That's um, vertical, um, horizontal, if I line up exactly horizontal, um, and at the angles that the perspective is setting up for me here. Keeps it right on there. Um, so let's just pencil in the rope lines. See there, it actually caught that I was drawing this way instead of towards the perspective. All right, because these are pencils, you know, I don't need this to be like super, super exact, but I mean, look at how much easier this makes shit. Um, 
there's not going to be too much background here. I'm going to put a couple lines, a couple of perspective lines back here that I, I might want to use later. Um, I'm going to shut that off. I can probably I can turn it back on later. Um, it's kind of rampy, uh, so I won't bother talking about that. Um, anyway, so isn't it cool? Like it, it helps you set up this pers perspective line. So now, um, now I'll just draw right on top of that. I know there's a sort of patty kind of thing happening at the top of boxing rings. thicker actually. I'm just sketching this out. I mean, even though I've got the perspective lines here, when wrong glasses. When I get my when I print this out, the pencil. Actually. I love that, block, that back button. See how I was able to just go back a lot? Instead of just sketching that out, I'm gonna just draw these ropes to be thicker. Yeah, that's gonna help me out a lot more in the actual penciling stage. Um, just so I don't get lost behind all of this too much, I'm going to create another layer to pencil the boxing figures on top. Let me lower that opacity. There we go. And I can really see the boxers good. trying to give, I've got the opacity, or the opacity, the uh, stabilization way down in this because one of the things I want to do is to be able to get as many angles on here as I can to make it feel as naturalistic as I can. I think I've fallen too much into using the stabilizer, especially in the inking stage, too much, and that's created an accidentally over cartoony roundness to this stuff, which to be honest is something I see in a lot of digital art. Digital art that I love, by the way, that I'm um, in awe of and inspired by, but often it creates a sort of, um, I don't know a good way to put it, not homogenized, but like just the sameness to a lot of art that's drawn digitally, um, especially by us cartoony people. Um, Shoulders need to be bigger. tried to not be as scribbly in this quote pencil stage Shit. as I do when I'm laying things out. Um, so I want the lines to be more short because these are basically my pencils, you know, um, which are still um, loose. Joe over here. What was that? That video game back in the 80s? Boxing game? And the first guy by it was like Glass Jaw Joe or something like that. I don't remember.
pretty happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty happy with the way this is coming out so far. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> like I said uh, in an earlier video this week, when I was fixing a face, I've been having some issues recently. Um, my drawings just not been happy with them it which I think just comes out of I, you know I had a trip to New Jersey to go see family and uh, then I came back to a different deadline so I was gone for a week <clears throat> and then when I came back I had the deadline for those cover pages with uh, for Brian and, and Mac um, so I just stepped away from and even before I left for Jersey I had some other stuff that I had to finish so I kind of stepped away from the pages for a little bit so I felt like I kind of lost my space and then I was really um, struggling uh, happens to do the best of us that looks weird alright so one of the reasons why I drew that on another layer was um, now I can go ahead and here and then just sort of and I don't lose the perspective ruler I don't lose the, the lines that I drew for oops. Uh, I don't lose the line work that I did for the ropes. Just a little trick. Right, and then I'll combine those two. Boom. Putting here and a little concern that's just not right, and I'm wondering. Yeah, that's a little better. Oh, so I'm not sure from the script. I can't tell if these guys are supposed to be actually here or if this is some sort of VR thing. It's kind of hard to tell because sometimes when Brian writes for me, he's sending me um, you know as much as he can get done at a time to keep me busy. So they'll send me like half the script, and this is the last page of the script, so I'm not exactly sure what happens after this, so I'm going to have to check in with him there. But for now, I'm just going to act like these are real boxers. All right, now if the high line is down here, that means if, if Val and Jagger are back here watching, they would be down here kind of below the lines. Um, I can kind of cheat and put them here, but they're going to look funny like like the little people or something, so I'm going to actually put them here. I'm going to put them up high, and I'm going to cheat a little with like some stairs. That's not really cheap. Why can't there be stairs back here? <laughs> and make sure those are lined up later. And I'm going to use a door frame here to literally frame them. And then there's also this shaft of light that will be coming through. There's another shaft of light. And I'll kind of work that out with, like, in the pencils, you know. These are going to be more like actual neon lights or whatever up here. And I just kind of need to indicate that those slightly. I'll figure it out when I'm, after I print these out and I'm, I'm making it, then I'll get the details of this. 
but these guys are the focus. And I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, then the rest of this is just gonna be... The rest of this is pretty easy. This is just straight up, like... Figure and character work. I want to give Jagger a look like she is just... She is getting a little hard on here, watching guys fight. Not because she likes the guys, but because she likes fighting. If you're wondering why I've got my headphones on, it's because I like to listen to music while I'm working. But I've also noticed that if I have something playing, Twitch or whatever platform it is, recognizes you know copyrighted music, and it won't even let me record with an option to take out the audio or anything. So so I throw on the headphones while I'm working with you guys. So, I mean, this is basically it from here on. There's no other neat tricks. This is just all, the rest of this is just going to be me drawing the characters, faces, last bit of acting here, which I like, which is Val, just completely bored by this boxing thing. He's like me when I see sports stuff. I don't get it. Unless it's American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> and maybe MMA. I used to watch MMA. MMA. I used to follow it a bit. this because I gotta go and grab something and then uh, we'll finish it up another video if you're interested.